yeah after activity resource estimation the next process is activity durations estimation so here we estimate the duration of the activities the input side uh, we have the schedule management plan the activity list activity attributes activity resource requirements resource calendars project scope statement the risk register the resource breakdown structure and enterprise environmental factors and organizational process assets we have discussed all these things in our previous mind maps let us focus on the tools and technique side expert judgment is a tool and technique while arriving at the activity duration and analogous estimation this is about comparing and taking now let us say last year i travel from here to uh uti and i know i took let's say 10 hours and this year again i'm traveling so i'll budget for 10 hours that which is the duration of the journey so analogous estimation is all about comparing with the past similar activity and then taking it parametric estimation is about averages now let us say last year i've traveled to uti 10 times so i can take an average that becomes parametric uh, typical examples could be cost per square feet which is a construction uh, industry norm cost per square feet or defects per uh, square feet kind of thing so our average effort required to fix one defect so these are parametric estimates parametric estimates are always more accurate than analogous estimation because analogous is always taken from one similar data point whereas parametric is about averages it is taken from uh it is it is from a set of data points we take an average so that is parametric so parametric is always more accurate than analogous then we have a three point estimate it is three three point estimate uh that means for every task we come out with an optimistic estimate a pessimistic estimate and a most likely estimate uh then we apply the formula optimistic plus 4 into most likely plus pessimistic by 6 that is the beta distribution if it is triangular distribution it is optimistic plus most likely plus pessimistic by 3 now uh let's say while again let us take the example of traveling from here to uh uti by car uh the optimistic could be maybe 8 hours the pessimistic could be 12 hours and the most likely let's say uh it is 10 hours so if i substitute that values in the triangular distribution it becomes 8 plus 12 plus 10 divided by 3 that is 20 30 divided by 3 so that becomes 10 whereas in a beta distribution is optimistic optimistic is 8 plus 4 into most likely uh the most likely in our case was 10 plus pessimistic pessimistic was 12 this divided by 6 so that is 8 plus 40 that is 40 48 48 plus 12 60 60 by 6 so that is also coming to 10 uh while estimating the activity durations uh, sometimes we employ group decision make techniques like brainstorming delphi uh techniques those kind of things delphi is always done by experts so we take uh, the experts inputs uh and then uh incorporate that into the estimation reserve analysis while doing the activity durations uh we need to factor in the buffers also so that becomes a tool
The outputs of estimate activity resources are activity duration estimates and sometimes project document updates. Because based on the activity duration, sometimes uh, we may have to rework on the project milestones, dates, and the project deadlines. So you may go back and work on uh, maybe the project plan, the milestone dates, and maybe sometimes even the charter. So any project document may get updated while doing the uh, ac activity duration estimations. Thank you.